If you're new to Hindenburg Journalist or Hindenburg Journalist Pro, this is the very first video you need to watch. While Hindenburg is an incredibly powerful tool and it's built for spoken word, there's one feature that could cost you hours of work if you do it wrong. I'm Brian Ensminger. I'm a podcast host. I record and edit podcasts for top-tier audio using Hindenburg Journalist Pro, and I have a Facebook group of other people who also use and love Hindenburg. In this short video, I'm going to show you one powerful feature that Hindenburg has that you can that can go totally wrong if you don't use it right. I know for a fact that some editors have lost hours of work because they didn't know this one thing that we're about to learn how to avoid. And I'm going to show you how you can avoid having to scrap the whole thing if you've been caught by this. So here's the thing. When you bring Hindenburg, or when you bring a clip into Hindenburg, and we're looking at Hindenburg right now. This is a, a file that I've edited uh, when you bring a clip in brand new, it's going to auto level it. Now that's a feature that you can turn on or off, but typically people leave that on. And that's a great thing to do because then you'll have normalized audio across several spoken word tracks, which is amazing. It's a wonderful. You can also do it manually. So let's say that you've been kind of messing around been playing with levels and things like that, and you go in and you think, well, I'd like to re-level that track. That's great. You can do that on a PC using Control-L or on a Mac using Command-L. It's a great feature. So if you've brought in that track, you've been playing with it, and you want to re-level it, you can do that. But here's the thing. If you've made a bunch of edits, and in particular, if you've made a bunch of cuts, like this file that we're looking at right here, where I had a bunch of ums and other things to cut out of that, when you do that, Hindenburg is going to re-level each of those clips individually. So I'll show you just on one clip. I'm just going to select this one clip right here. I'm going to hit Command L on my Mac, and it's going to scan that, and it's going to re-level that. And it did that individually. I'm going to undo that, and I can do that. But here's the thing. When you select an entire track or a range, when you hit that Command L, and I'm not going to do the whole thing, when I hit that Command L, it's going to re-level each of those tracks individually. And we'll see that here in just a second. So I've selected that range, hit Command L, and it's going to go through and re-level each one of those individually. Now you'll see that it's bringing them all down to a relatively consistent level. There's not a lot of variability, but you can see as we look right down here, while it's working, we're getting slightly different levels. And that can become a bit of a problem because you'll have some sections that are intentionally a little bit softer and some other sections that are intentionally a bit, a bit louder as people get louder when they speak. Those are great things to have in there. And I know for a fact that several editors have actually lost hours of work because they went through and they did a really long file. They did all those cuts and they thought as that last step, they were going to manually level that. So that's the problem. When you run that really cool feature and you use it wrong, it can cost you a lot of problems. It can make things sound really weird. And when that happens, you might be tempted to just scrap the whole thing. You might think to yourself, sure, I might have four or five or six hours of editing in this. I'm just going to take it as a learning. I'm going to scrap it. And if you decide to do that, that's okay. But there's another thing that you can do. It's not a perfect fix, but here's the deal. If, if you've got a section of audio and it's been messed with in any fashion, if you just hover over the gain line right here and double click that, it'll reset all of those to zero. Now you can tell by looking at this that by resetting it to zero, the overall level was much higher than this, this section right over here that's following. But here's the deal. If you've done that to a whole track and you reset that whole track to zero, you can then click the S, solo that track, and just export that one track, render that one track, it'll be leveled out. And then when you bring it back in, Hindenburg, just bring it into a new track. Hindenburg will bring in that edited file that's all been leveled and it will manually level that back. So you don't necessarily, it's not a, it's not a one for one. It doesn't just undo everything. And I do want to say that, you know, you can control Z or command Z until you until you run out of undos. And if you're able to do that enough times, and you can tell by looking at this file, if I did these whole tracks, that would be a lot of undos, especially if I had done both tracks. So in my case, I would probably double click that thing, reset the gain to zero, export it and bring it back into Hindenburg. I'd have all of my cuts, I could level those tracks, and then I would have something that I could work with so I wouldn't lose those hours of work. And that's, that's one of the things that we can do to kind of get past this if we've messed it up. So 
I, I really hope that this has been valuable for you. We've talked in today's video about the one thing that you want to make sure that you never do in Hindenburg Journalist Pro, which is manually level an entire track after you've made a bunch of cuts and a bunch of edits. That could really mess things up. And we've also talked about one way that you can fix it. So reset the clip gains to zero, export it and bring it back in so that you can restart and re-level that and you'll have nice, nice output there. If you use Hindenburg Journalist Pro and you'd like to know more about it, I'd encourage you to join our Facebook group at hindiusers.com. There's a link in the, in the description of this video. If you have a podcast and you'd like help with production, whether recording and editing, visit toptieraudio.com. I'd love to connect with you and see if there's something that I can do to help, with, help you. And if you sound it, if you found this video useful, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe so that you never miss any of the new videos and be sure to share it with somebody else today. Until next time, I'm Brian Ensminger. Let's be safe with Hindenburg.